Peace, fam. This is Sis J. Kobe. <laughs> Hey, y'all, see you. TL over there. Oh. Surprise, surprise. We got the giggles happening. Yes, we, we do. Some giggle juice right here. You know, that's what we do when we come Ooh. here. So if you're watching this, family, and you're not mm -hmm. familiar with the both of us, because we are the best of both oracles. Yes. We're still that. Just the We're channel's really not there. Yes. Yeah, the channel's not there right now. But if you watched us on the best of both oracles, you would know. We come to laugh. We laugh <laughs> instead of to keep from crying. Do you understand? We are very jovial. We keep it very low, lighthearted, but we keep it very real with mm -hmm. you too. So if you can deal with a little bit of that, just hang in there with us because Probably that's just, that, yeah, we don't really know how to not be that way. Do you get what I mean? But these, these, these cards do what they do and we do what we do. And we hope you enjoy. Yes, All right. These decks do what they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. Wow. <laughs> All right. So your past or wait, no, your what? current energy is. That's no, my word. bad. Uh, go ahead, let me let, let me tell read. My, my, my apologies. Your current energy energy is a forty nine and a lot. Wait, now I'm thirteen. Thirteen. Don't you what worry about me four. and my math. Yeah, thirteen yes, should be a four. It's a four. So mm -hmm. you're at the angel of love. There's, you know, you were here. We're, we're almost. Tiana, almost there. We're almost getting there. Dead. Yeah, that's good though. Forest transitional. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's before that halfway point that could, like, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that five does something. Something is changing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because when you get to a five, you are halfway there. Yeah. And that is almost so. Yeah, almost there. <laughs> something about your heart, your energy, and your love, your love life. I mean, it doesn't have to be love life with a relationship. It probably is, but it doesn't have to be. It could be family. You know what I mean? But that's your current energy, uh, which I think is great. And then your past energy, you have Dove take a leap oh, of faith. This is making me feel even more like this is kind of, there is some love involved in this reading. Mm -hmm. Because the leap of faith, like you you innocently went towards, you gave somebody a chance. You gave something a chance here. And that's in the past. So. And then we silver lining. Yeah, I'm going to find out. What was the benefit in that? What was the benefit in the world? Wow. Was there a lot? Oh, whoa. Look at me like, was there a lot? And everything just dropped. See, but that's not me. That's mm -hmm. the energy. Like, I felt that coming before they fell out of my hands. Unfortunately, I couldn't stop them from falling. But I felt like, uh, I ain't really want to say what I felt. I, I felt like, um, yeah, I, I don't know what it's like to jump off a building. Oh, jeez. For real, but that's what it felt like. Felt, you know what? When you go on a roller coaster, and you drop, oh. and, you, and you're like, oh! you know how you like your stomach go to your neck, that. and you be like, oh! you know, it was like that. Like that's what it felt like when the cards. Y'all didn't see that because I don't. It, the camera doesn't go up that far, but the cards, like my whole deck was like, oh! like it dropped out of my hands. Let me see. I'm. Like, I don't. Feel, mm. Okay. There's supposed to be a silver lining here. I don't know why this does not feel like a silver lining. Mm. I don't even like the way this feels. Let's see. Let's and you on. just said a fall. And the first fall that she was talking about was almost like jumping from a building. Mm -hmm. And when you said the memories, you know, like, I guess I, what is that called? Claire audience when I hear songs and mm -hmm. stuff? Or yeah. when you hear songs, because yeah. songs are always going. Um, For those who like Maroon 5, Adam Levine's memory song, Toast mm -hmm. to the days that, we, that, we, that it came, Toast to the wish you were here. We, you know, like, because uh, the... Cause the drinks bring back all the memories, yes. and the memories bring back memories, memories bring, bring back you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. like yes. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cause I mean, I feel like that's all you got though. Mm -hmm. You took a, you innocently took a leap of faith. You gave somebody a chance. You gave them a shot. If this wasn't somebody new, this was you giving somebody a chance to come back and do right by you, and they they didn't do it, okay? Mm. They didn't do it because the silver lining, the silver lining is you moving forward, first of all, and you have legends. Learn from those who inspire you. This is in reverse. I feel like this person proved, like, you may have at one point held this person in such high regard, and that is why you wanted to give them another chance, okay? That is why you're like, man, I love you so much. You mean so much. We have so many amazing memories together. I, I, you once saw a future with this person. You know, like I see a future with you. But they dropped 
the ball like the weight of a wrecking ball whatever it was they came back and i'm so sorry if this is your story no lie like whatever is about to come out of my mouth is going to be almost personal it's not going to be the entire collective okay but for those of you watching this this reading like this person could have somebody could have shown up pregnant you get what mm -hmm. i'm saying somebody could have come back and be like you know i know we've been on a three month break but you know i just got tested and found out i got that package mm -hmm. do you understand mm -hmm. like it was devastating because my whole gut was in my mouth do you understand and when the, when that news came back it's what allowed you to move forward like you know what i can't with you like that's why your heart is changing mm -hmm. that's why your feelings are changing so i don't think you've seen the worst of the emotion of it all you get what i'm saying because i'm saying five of pentacles you know i'm saying that five that five of cups and stuff that energy is sad you haven't gotten to the point where you're bitter you're sad but you're not bitter you haven't gotten to the point where you feel abandoned and left out in the cold. God willing, you never will. Like, God willing, you'll turn around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, you know. You'll, you'll shift this energy because whatever this person brought back to you or whatever, like a tower, right? Tower moment happened. And you're just like, you know what? That's a no. Mm -hmm. That's a no for me. And I gotta, I gotta walk on by. Like, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. Get ready for positive change. That's what you want. You're like, I, I need, I don't want that. Like, if somebody came back and they got a baby, that ain't a positive change. That's not a positive change you're looking forward to. If somebody came back and they have some type of terminally ill, you know, terminal illness or, you know, whatever it is, some type of incurable disease or whatever, you're like, ah, that sounds like a you problem. Like, mm -hmm. that sounds like a battle. Uh, that sounds like some karma that you're going to have to deal with alone. You know, not, not everybody will walk away, but I'm feeling like that's the energy of this reading. This is a mm -hmm. silver lining reading. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for what can be taken away that is the positive yes. from something that has happened that has been negative. And it looks like so far so good because you are awake, right? Mm -hmm. It's like somebody, you were asleep and somebody woke you up. You're like, yeah, I'm all the way awake now. I'm present, present, here, Yep. <laughs> here. All right, let's move on. All right, so collect the, what is your wants? What are your wants? You have the third party card out here. And the third party card, intrusion, someone or something has this person's attention, trust your intuition, not your ego right now, ask reasonable questions without making irrational accusations. Otherwise you risk manifesting the very scenarios you've been fearing. Your ones. I think you just want some questions answered at this point. Like that's the one thing that stood out about the third party, like you know, if this person is trying to like has come back around and different things like that, you're like, I want to, you might want to know more. And for those of you who had somebody waiting in the wings, mm -hmm. you want that person. You're like, you know what? I was wrong. Uh, I made mm -hmm. a mistake and uh, I'm ready for you now. Mm -hmm. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Some, yeah. some people have orbital people. Or they want, yeah, it don't work to be the job. Like, I'm, I decided I'm going to take that job. That, you know what? That, Yes. I, I want options now. Uh -huh. you yeah, there yeah you go. I, I, I want, want options, options now. Because this, this can't be it. I was with you or dealing with you, and you were my only options. Now I realize that I can do so much more. Before we move on, I want to clarify that. Mm -hmm. um, on the bottom of the deck, I just shuffled. I see luck. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like you're like, look, I want my luck to change. You know, I feel like you felt like that shouldn't have happened. Whatever happened, you like that should never have happened. That shouldn't have happened. Show me the third party card, please, Spirit. Why is the third party card here in the wants for this person? Why is the third party card? That's like a lot. Home. Yeah. Luck. I'm not taking all these cards. So. Failure. See what I'm saying? It was a failure. You want you like I want to change. I want new luck. I want something new. Look, I want to. You might want to move. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like I want to see what's out there for me. So, yeah, let's let, let's move on. All right, and your needs, your needs right now are, ooh, your needs. Air, Elemental, Libra, Aquarius, Geminizer with the Magnificent card, Womanizer. We had this person, what the, your, your needs? Oh, you need to get rid of this person. You need to probably get as far as away from this. That's it. I'm like, that. you got a Womanizer, and then you have the Air <laughs> Elemental that's talking about yeah um relies heavily on logic and reason doesn't deep dive emotionally persuasive influential yeah i gotta say this because this energy is way too strange mm -hmm. now at this point we don't know who we're reading for mm -hmm. okay like, if this is you and you are somebody who 
likes polygamy, polyamorous, mm -hmm. whatever yeah. that's called, mm -hmm. yeah, relationships, and you may have tried something with somebody and they didn't want to be brought into your harem. Mm -hmm. And that might have been a, a tremendous fail for you because it could have been somebody who had like empress energy, not not queen of wands that would match this king of wands energy. Do you get what I mean? You might have met somebody who's like, I'm not here to play with you. Mm -hmm. And it was a backfire. And that's not for everybody. That's just for who this is for. If this is that's you. That's the one so. Yes, if this is you, you you found out the hard way, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. That um, that what you need is you need to attract your tribe. Oh, I'm pointing to something, but you, what you need is to yes. attract your tribe. Okay. Yes, you need somebody that's more lighthearted, mm -hmm. less grounded. You know, less stable, not not stable financially, but flexible, more flexible. You get what I'm saying? More logical not to a little bit too with that air elemental being in there. Somebody who can understand the business around. You know, how you, you, we talk about that a lot when people understand. Capricorn and Scorpios are good at that. That's the best way. The, the that dynamic, they understand how to get to the money, get to the bag. They know as our mm -hmm. Libra Aquarius Gemini. Mm -hmm. this, this is the thing about air signs. It's like mm -hmm. air signs can be more flexible especially if it makes sense <laughs> i'm serious like mm -hmm. especially if it makes sense if it makes sense to them they're like i can see this working mm -hmm. oh we, you want to fire so this is That's passionate it. And, and we can keep it more oh so i can have who i want to yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah i like the way she put that because mm -hmm. that's real because there was somebody in your energy that it was it hurt you to lose and on the op on the opposing side of that you met somebody and fell in love with somebody and you didn't know that that's what they were in love with and that was a fail for you because mm -hmm. you were like i can't do that lifestyle either way somebody was like i can't do that lifestyle mm -hmm. i can't I, I can't give you what you what you want because i need something else all right let's move on hold on sorry oh, okay what did you leave behind what did you leave behind you had the high priestess Dang, did you leave your intelligence behind? I'm sorry. No, you didn't. I hope not. Not your intelligence. Your, your intuition. Your, uh... Mm. I definitely said your intelligence. But yes, you left your intuition. I was really intelligence. Like, you left you behind. Yes, yeah, you. You weren't... Where was your antennas? That's all I could think of. Where was your antennas? <laughs> you weren't listening. You were, mm -hmm. you were warned. Like, spirit let you know... You see this card? This wasn't going to work out? High priestess. Yeah. And, and like, you tried to make it work? Mm-hmm. And no, Spirit was like, we already told you. Mm -hmm. We already told you. you, you it's about to fail. You might be about to lose your house over this mm -hmm. because karma hit your pockets first. Do you get what I'm saying? It's deep, though. I got to say this. Pardon me. I'm right there. I don't want my kids in there. It's one bird and five nests on the back of this mm -hmm. I'm just saying. What does one bird need five nests for? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And, and uh, mm -mm. no, this was a fail. This was mm -mm. you into everything in your spirit was like no, 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 no. And if that's not what you did, you didn't not listen to your intuition. And this is the person who is the. If I'm talking now to the polyamorous person, mm -hmm. you left behind somebody that straight up ghosted you. That's probably why it was such a shock when you like do 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 do. I can't get through. What you mm -hmm. mean that number change? No. Mm -hmm. Let me look on Facebook. Their account your deleted. Intuition, and your oh. intuition told you that too. That yeah, ain't. it's like you, you, you no, yeah. this is not good. This is mm -hmm. not good. Like but that's, you got the download, or they got the download. One of y'all right. got the download, and you left that behind. Somebody like, got hit, and somebody got lost. All right. All right. So, what are you approaching? You have the King Solomon cards. Mm. Stop. Son of, David, son of David and Bathsheba, King of Swords energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. What you said about Aries? What? You said something about Aries? What, in the card? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in the... I don't know. Oh, I thought you said something about Aries. No, Just I didn't now. say I Aries. Oh, wow. Well, this is Aries, for, uh, Leo Sash, the woman I... The, the king king of wands. Aries, Leo Sash, but we we dealing with air again. You could there be... we go again, yeah. Could be air, fire, thought? heavy combo. Yeah. I, IQ, EQ, fair and wise, beyond measure, conscious, into, intellectual, open and obedient to the divine, excellent orator. Advisor and communicator, rational, capable business owner. I mean, that is the like the, when you know air signs, you know, like you know, this is it. Kings out, that is what they do. <laughs> in the air, you know, that energy is coming up and it's showing up in its strongest essence, mm -hmm. right? And that's the king of air. There's not anything above that but the emperor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what you're approaching. I hope 
I can't say I hope. That's so biased. <laughs> if you are the person who was not for multiple parties in their relationship, you're headed for someone who is about the same thing that you're about mm -hmm. or vice versa. If you're the person that is and that you do find, like she said, what, attract your own tribe? Mm -hmm. You're headed for somebody who can see the benefit in that. Now think about who we're talking about. This is King Solomon. Did he not have a harem of uh, 700 something plus his 300 wives? Mm -hmm. Did he not have a thousand different options? Mm -hmm. So you might need somebody to match that energy with you. And either way, whether you want the single, you know, the one person or multiple people, you're headed toward it. You're headed toward clear thinking, clear minded, concise decisions. I know what I'm doing and I know how to get it. I'm not mad about that part. What's next? So what did you suspect? We have the revolutionary Judith and the hermit. What did you what sound you like New York? It does sound like New York. And honestly, and with that revolutionary here, it just seems like you what you expect what you suspected was like that somebody it just looked like nobody was gonna change. Like I am what I am. Mm -hmm. And Judith, she like she cut off, she queen of swords. She, oh she the match. we got the match out here too. Huh? Because this is the king of swords, right? Yes, mm -hmm. but yes, and I don't mean to say but it's not really a rebuttal at all. Mm -hmm. There's no rebuttal. It's just they're two different energies. Energy yes, mm -hmm. although they're a match, they're two different energies because um, that hermit card is there too. It's mm -hmm. like somebody had to cut off to be alone. They're like, I'm going to revolutionize this whole thing. Here's what's up. And you and whoever this, whoever I'm re we're reading for mm -hmm. is suspected that they knew this was coming because you knew you met your match. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. You knew you met your match. You were like, mm -hmm. man. I know I'm not, how they move. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to pull the wool over this person's eyes. They're going to mess around and cut me off a flick. You know what I mean? They're going, you knew, like she said, you saw it come, your intuition, it was hitting you. Like, you know, this is the one, you know, you met your match. Don't do it. Don't do it like this. Don't do it like this. Somebody didn't listen. Somebody didn't listen. Mm -hmm. All right. So what don't you know? It's a couple of quest board cards on this one. What don't you know? We have Abraham. They call her witch. Bubble. Jeez, you know, it's like everything in there. <laughs> and confession. I feel like you're about to find out some conversations that happen behind your back sure you got to find out you you try to do the wrong one wrong mm -hmm. you try to do the right one wrong <laughs> what don't you know mm -hmm. yeah because that's the both of those are like real spiritual mm -hmm. and this is somebody who walks away the bubble is about somebody who walks away and isolates you got the hermit there walks away and isolates get gets into it gets intuitive hits from the divine the high priestess all of these are here in this row that's what you left behind mm -hmm. you left behind the wrong one the right one is the one you wronged and yeah and either they're either they're about to tell you mm -hmm. <laughs> by the way i knew the whole time yeah like you're getting ready you know a what conversation I'm saying? Yeah. About, or you're gonna hear or you're gonna hear that like what what don't you know you about to hear that they knew like you like you know how that friend come around and be like so ain't nobody tell you that shorty saw you uh, pull up out at that mall that other time or that she saw you get out your car and old girl so nobody you didn't even know um all right you you told the wrong person <laughs> and that person your homeboy uh -huh. went back and told okay this is you know yeah they saw that he she didn't deserve mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. they been do that i'm not gonna front i'm not mean i don't know I, mean, I do share personal but this one's real deep i was in a situation one time where somebody was had proposed to me wanted to marry me Bought the ring and everything. Dope ring. 13 diamonds. You mm -hmm. understand? And I was like, everything in me, in my spirit, was like, not this one. Seems perfect. Ain't perfect. And you're going to mess around and find out. And sure enough, I found out in the most mind-blowing, unheard-of way that this man had a wife in another country mm. and had proposed to me. So we could have legally gotten married in the States. But he would have had a wife in another country. Do you understand what I'm saying? And my intuition already let me know that. Mm -hmm. And then the way that the Most High brought it to me is in a way that there's no way he could have known. No yes. way it could have happened. Like, it was a, it was miraculous. Do you understand? But the truth came to me nonetheless. And if you're dealing with somebody that's high priestess, they call her witch, Abraham, the hermit, Judith. Mm -hmm. You messed with the wrong one. I'm sorry. And other, and if this is you and it's flip flop, they mess with the wrong one. Sorry, you about to watch this person get the gun smack. Mm -hmm. You about to watch it. You might not witness it with your eyeballs, but you're gonna hear about it. If you don't mm -hmm. see it, you're gonna hear about it. You're gonna find out. And I know it's not what you want. If that's you and this is who I'm talking about, I'm talking to this high priestess. 
I'm talking to this angel of love. I'm talking to this. They call her witch. Whether you resonate with I that or not, and this is a highly know. spiritual being. That's like going over to they they parents' house and you never knew nothing about them. And every time they asked you questions and said certain things and just looked at you, then you go visit the family. I and the mom it. be like, oh, my baby been gifted all her life. She did it and I. You right. find out in a weird way. That's like, what I mean. And now you looking stupid. You ain't, <laughs> now you looking you ain't stupid. know that she was clairvoyant. Yeah, she ain't never tell you that. Oh, she probably, oh. she likes playing that game every once in a while because people like to lie. Exactly. <laughs> people hey. like to lie. I mean, if we talking about a cancer, mm -hmm. that's our bag. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we do. We be like, oh, you did? You were there on last Tuesday? Mm -hmm. I already know. <laughs> I just wanted to see your face so I know all your poker faces. Mm -hmm. I know all your body language. I know your, your vocal tones and everything you do when you lie to my face mm -hmm. because I already know. Oh, and by the way, I read, I read tarot. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you don't know who you're messing with. Somebody messed with the wrong one. I'm sorry. Either way, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry it happened to you. Mm -hmm. Either way, I'm sorry because that heart drop was not fun. Yeah. It's not fun. Let's move on. This is about the silver lining, though. What can we take away from this? Let's keep going. So what you've been made aware of is... Excuse me for y'all. Uh, what you've been made aware of, you have spy and abundant love. See, this energy is so flip floppity. Right? This person living multiple lives may have alter egos or identities, maybe a government agent, undercover. My apologies, because I didn't expect it to say all that. And an abundant love. Is this a divine gift because you deserve it? This is pure, untainted emotion. What? What you've been made aware of? It seems like it's a lie. Like it's like somebody attained. You know. I just said. I'm, oh shoot! Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm reflecting on the story. No lie, the, the guy that I was dealing with like that, he was a marine. He was a soldier. Damn, yeah, like. And I, and so I knew, and I knew this man loved me. Mm -hmm. I that was the part I knew, like I knew, like I knew. But I found out he had an alter life, mm -hmm. an alternative life somewhere else, somewhere else, and that may be. I mean, this person very well could be uh, in the military. You get what I'm saying, or some mm -hmm. type of government, cause especially with the the two. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini mm -hmm. energy coming out. You get what I'm saying? I don't know, man. There's this, I don't know why that abundant love and spy, just like what Jay Coffee said. Actually, I do know why, because it goes along with the story. For those who need another example, mm -hmm. deliver us from Eva. If you remember, if, for those who saw it, if not watch, it's a pretty decent movie. Gabriel Union, LL Cool J in it. Um, at the, somewhere towards the end, spoiler alert, she says something along the lines of, it should not be a spoiler alert, I just thought about that, but whatever. <laughs> I'm that person like that, no, it should not be a spoiler, but this whatever. Right, we're all here for it. <laughs> I, I don't remember that movie, so oh, well, let's go, I'm interested. Yeah, look, yeah. <laughs> she says, um, I earned your love, you stole mine. That part. And that's what this looks like. That part. I earned your love, you stole mine. Because he was lying about his reason for coming in her life and everything. Yep. And she really fell in love with him. And he ultimately fell in love with her mm -hmm. and tried to fix it before she found out. But she found out, obviously. Yep. So, yeah. And she said that key line, like, I earned your love. You stole mine. And that's so very real. I'm telling you, it goes right along the story because that's how I felt. Mm -hmm. Like, when I found out this man did all of this to me and I was in love with him, I was like, I really love him. I can see my, I can see a future with you. You seem like a really good person. You know what I'm saying? But just my intuition was the thing that was like, honey, no. Honey, no. Because there was no evidence otherwise. This guy was like my hero. Do you get what I'm saying? And I've, I, I've unfortunately had other bad experiences where it was a similar thing. I'm all in love and I'm committed and I'm down and I get a shocker side family. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Your heart will be like, oh! yeah. you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. that is how you feel. I yeah. earned your love. You stole mine because mm -hmm. you played me. You mm -hmm. knew about this the whole time. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Little did you know, spirit let me know. And now that I know, I'm outside. Mm -hmm. Deuces. Yep. It's terrible. Checking up the deuces, Chris Brown. All right. What will be revealed? What will be revealed? Relax. I like that. I do, girl. I like that. Might be having like a little come. I'll. I, I, um, Kumbaya, come to little powwow. Yeah, there you go. Cause I don't want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, little powwow, come together with some close people. It's time to unburden yourself. You've been working too hard and worrying too much. A lengthy vacation or mini vacay. Mm -hmm. It's time to relax, relate, and release. Yeah, I'm sorry. I <laughs> relax, like that. relate, release. I like that. <laughs>
I like that. So before we uh, close out, let me see a spy. Oh, oh, this one? Spy. Oh, spy. Mm. See? Damn, another eye spy. The movie. Eye so spy. That's the truth. <laughs> that's that's some of what you've been made aware of. And you definitely got that from spirit. Mm -hmm. Spirit was like, let me open your eye real quick. Let me show you what's in the dark. Wow. The moon. Let me show you what they're not showing you. So that is the truth that sets you free. Oh, God. That's why it came out like that. Remember I said it's something that allowed you to move forward? Because you saw this person as a legend. Like, this mm. person was, like, legendary. And you like, you're not shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, so you, I thought you were a legend, but I found out you ain't shit. Mm -hmm. Sorry for my language. That's how I feel. I'm sorry. That's just keeping it real go wrong. <laughs> yeah, let's look at the silver lining and your advice. Because what are you taking away from mm -hmm. this? Show me the silver lining for the, the viewer here. I don't want to get coffee again. Now, you had the sun card on the bottom of the deck. So you have the sun. And you have the thinking woman on the bottom as well. I feel like you you know what you're doing. You you decide. Look, you got the walking away, the sun of a loop journey. You might have took a magician in the mirror. What's this one? Yeah, it, it whatever contract happened, talk your talk, talk your ish. That contract is broken. It's done. It seems like that. Yeah, like the the con the contract wasn't honored magician in the mirror like yeah you got the intuitive hit you got the downloads like that's what that's what i'm getting right now if you went on a journey you probably went on a self journey a self-healing journey at some point got the illumination the eyes out here again but you got the sun the sun you got the illumination you needed to figure out to walk away yep here it is again. as that thinking woman you know what i mean you started to think you what did you leave behind and i said your intelligence my bad Dang. for saying it like that but you gained it back you know you got smart you started remembering that you matter yep. and look they get new That's beginnings they, what's the, go with the flow go with the flow new beginnings and vacation yeah, it's, it's, literally just a journey mm -hmm. <laughs> the sun walking away yes <laughs> And this is the silver temple line. Path. Yeah, that part. This is the temple path. Mm -hmm. That's literally like this whole left temple side path. over here is like, mm -hmm. look. And this was in a reading. I don't want to, I don't know. Mm -hmm. This kind of energy just came out in the last reading that we did. I'm not sure. I mean, it might have been a through, through, through their eyes spread. But the the silver lining is like, you didn't know. Like, but your ancestors were trying to initiate you into this temple path. Like this spiritual path they're trying to level you up and this person is just not welcome mm -hmm. this person is not welcome on that journey okay so they're going to create an opportunity for you to take that vacation and go relax get back into your inner child you know do more of that work like heal that embrace right. have fun that's what i'm hearing is fun like do something you never did before learn something new because you're about to have a new life new life bring excuse me begin your new life this is new beginnings this is somebody rising from the phoenix somebody that mm. got burnt and got hurt and got shredded just coming back more beautiful bigger better stronger you know what i'm saying more powerful than ever go with the flow let things happen that's why spirit is saying relax this happened this happened for you not mm -hmm. to you we had this under control we just couldn't let this person that they feel like they know better right and it's trying to manipulate you and has you know uh double lives triple lives because i don't feel like it's just one person That's i feel like they got multiple things. lives going on mm -hmm. and you have no idea like if any one of those people or you know situations came forward you would be like well, what mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what you mean you work for the cia mm -hmm. what you what you mean you uh, undercover cop do you get what I'm saying? Like, what you mean? You got what you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. That was literally in the last reading. Yeah, I think it's the three. With the Sonic movie, co movie yeah. coming up, mm -hmm. you might be dealing with somebody that really is in the government. Like, yeah. Let me tell you, I don't know who you are watching. Please be responsible. Do not assign things to your people that don't yes. belong to them. Yes. Do not assign things to you that don't belong to you. You need to let the information come to you for real. And <laughs> sometimes these things come up in readings, and you might be like, "That's not happening to me," but it's happening to my sister. Mm -hmm. Or like, "That's not happening to me," but it's happening to my homie, like somebody I really love. Mm -hmm. That's that's not happening to me, but that's happening to my mom. Either way, the reason why, for me personally, I do this to help you navigate. I'm not here to be a fortune teller. All right. Just because we might be looking at your future doesn't mean it has to be. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because we're looking at the energy. It's like a snapshot of the energy that we're looking at right now to help you make the best decision possible. When this other energy that you don't know yet starts to present itself, you're like, hmm, where have I heard this before? 
wait a minute, I think I just came across that reading. You know what I'm saying? I think I just heard somebody saying this. Yes, you did. And now you know how to act accordingly. Behave accordingly. Relax. Mm -hmm. Go with the flow. Spirit got you. Because they're taking you into a new life. I'm so sorry that this person can't come. But I'm telling you, this person can't come. Somebody can't come. They're not welcome. All right? Or they can't come as how they are now. That part. It, it, that it, part. Change is a real thing. So it it's it's it like, is. They can't come as the version of themselves Not now. like that. Not like Growth that. Needed. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, man, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in change. But mm -hmm. some people don't change because mm -hmm. they don't want to. They don't choose to. Do you get what I'm saying? Some people will not. If this, Let's say this is a job. Some people will not choose you for that job because maybe that's a career. Do you get what I'm saying? Not a job, but a career. Maybe they've been on that job for 18 years and they got to work the last two. You understand? Like to get retirement and get their benefits. You don't know the situation. All I know is you need to do you right now because mm -hmm. you, your guys are working with you. Continue to work with them because they got something beautiful, beautiful, beautiful waiting for you. Dragonfly, live your life to the fullest. Anytime I see a dragonfly, I think about the ancestors. Like that's one of the ways they communicate with us when you see dragonflies and butterflies and bird feathers and stuff like that. But live your life to the fullest. This is mm -hmm. about you doing you, man, being full again, not empty, full, abundant love, you know? And embracing that for somebody to be with you. If you are, if you do want a partner, for somebody to be with you that's going to reciprocate that to you. I love y'all. All right, well, that's y'all ready to see. Like. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you vibe with it, if it resonated, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. Um, like, share, subscribe, do what you do. Check the description box. Um, check out TL on TL's Timeless Tarot. If you're watching this over there, check me out at J Coffee's Oracle House. We love y'all. We'll do this again as much as we're able. All right, we love y'all so much. See you next time. Peace. Peace.